And when do you want to see me? Yes, sir. What for exactly? I want to be under arrest, sir. Arrest? What for? For murder. Murder? everything you know yes a lot of people think otherwise especially when the woman is a housewife but I'm not the kind that worries about what people say or think I love my family and they are the reason I live You have no idea what joy comes with taking care of your family. For me, it's more fulfilling than every other job you can think about. So sorry, I just got carried away with my family that I didn't even introduce myself. My name is Gina. And this is my family, my husband, Jeff, and of course, my beautiful daughter, Mona Lisa, they rock my world. And for them, I will do anything to see these smiles on their faces. Are you getting bored? <laughs> Please don't. This is me every day. I am destined to take care of my own and make sure they have everything they need to make them comfortable and happy. In all of this, my life is truly interesting. You know why? Because I have met 10 unhappy women in my lifetime. And I'm 8 of them.
Are you confused? Don't be. This has been my life for the past eight years. Jeff is my husband, no doubt, but I can't stand him. We are married and I have to get along, right? So I have to build a wall of my own. A place where I can be comfortable and be in love with a man of my own dream and expectation. Call me whatever, but I know you understand me. Or maybe you are like me. <laughs> so, babe, as in you've decided, as in like you've made up your mind to become full time housewife. Not again. I have told you that working is not part of my agenda. Yes, I need to take care of my family, my husband, my daughter. Please, I don't want to work. Okay. Need I remind you that men these days don't like liability women? Most especially that career women are everywhere. But you know, it's not like if I... See, the working world is so interesting. So why don't you just get a maid to help you out? Take care of your family or your home. I, I don't know. You didn't just say that. I don't need a maid. I can do it myself. Tell me, why do I need to work when my husband pays me more than enough for sitting down at home and doing nothing? Please, if you're talking about job satisfaction, <laughs> I think I have more than enough. <laughs> you know you're something else. In fact, you are unbelievable. My sister, I'm just doing what makes my family happy. That's all, Lou. I rest my case, you won. So, how is <laughs> so, Tell me, what has been happening to you? As you can see for yourself, Stop it! Stop this nonsense right now! What is wrong with you? Don't you know there is time for everything? I don't want this nonsense this night. Please! It irritates me! Ew!
wrong with her? She confuses me. See you're very busy. I can see your eyes are still working. Mm -hmm. What do you want? I sent you the proposal for the project. You could have just called to tell me that. You didn't have to come here. Yeah. I um I just wanted to clear up something with you. How you doing, bro? Oh, I'm good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so how's Nigeria? How's work? Very well. Very well. We're grateful. I thought you would be in the country by now. I got your email to that effect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be in the country in the next um, three days. Oh, okay. Good. We're respecting you. It would be nice to have you here. But, Kester, having said that, I read your email and you mentioned that you'll be relocating. And I'm thinking, is it a great time to do that right now? Okay, if you say so. Yeah. And speaking of accommodation, Kester, um, I remember we talked about it. I have made up my mind that you'll be staying with me. Really? I don't, I don't know. Hey, hey, Kester, let me talk, all right? It does not make sense at all that I live in a very big house and then you come to this country and you're staying in a hotel. I do not agree, all right? My family and I will be very happy to have you around. Are you ever going to change? Really? <laughs> Look, you never change, would you? What are you talking about? Kesta, you're not in convincing me. You're my brother, okay? You're like a brother to me. So let me do what I have to do. All right, big brother, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. All right, cheers, bro. All right, cheers. <laughs> Do you remember my friend, the one I spoke to you about who stays in London? The one that you said he has not visited Nigeria since he left there until he makes some money before he returns. Get that. He called me today. He told me that he's finalized plans and returning to Nigeria. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's nice. He told me he'll email me his um, flight details within the week, so we should expect him. Okay. Daddy. Yes, love. It's time to buy my big teddy. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure he should get you something. You know why? Because he's going to be staying here with us until he finds a place to stay. Okay, so I'm sure he'll get you something. Wow. <laughs> Someone from America is coming to stay here. And I get to answer plenty questions. Yes. <laughs> No, my angel, tell me. Because I knew one day Dad would take me to London to spend my holiday. Spot on. <laughs> Thank you. I sure will. <laughs> you see, Dad said I'm right. Okay. <laughs> it's your food. <laughs> it's fine. So when he's here, Dad, please, let's make him as comfortable as he can. He will do as good to me. <laughs> okay, I'll take for you. Oh. 
It's them coming. Hi, uh, my name is Kester, Jeff's friend from London. And you must be his wife, Gina, right? Yes, it's happening. Hello? Just like hey, hey, hey. I'm so hey, I am so pleased. I could have called him, but I could have called him so much. Anybody home? I finally came to see her and your daughter. This is not possible. How can that happen? It should only happen in my head, not in real life. No, it's not possible. I never knew it would be possible. Hey, is everything okay? Come in, I want to show you something. Is Jeff okay? Don't worry, you will talk to her when she wakes up in the morning. <laughs>
Do you know, I brought this plate out specially for you. No one has ever used it before. Can I serve you? But that's okay. That's that's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah, no, 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 no. That, that's fine. No, no, that's... Let me... no, 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 no. Fine. So it's just okay. perfect for me. Make sure you finish everything. Hmm? Yeah. I know you like me a lot. If you want more, I am here for you. I think my wife likes you a lot. A lot, you say? Yeah. Well, if you ask me, I think it's uh, a little too much, you know. Uh, I, think, uh, I think it's a good thing. You know, my wife is um, usually not warm to guests, especially when uh, they're coming from me on my own side. You know, but I've well, seen how she's treated you. you know, she's made you a very special guest, so it's good. Oh, good for you, but I think it's weird, you know. Maybe because I'm not used to things like this, or maybe because I'm coming from a different place. Uh, you know. Okay. So would you rather she's she's hostile to you? Uh, that, that won't be good, would it? <laughs> exactly. So I think it's best this way. Well, if you say so. I'm your husband's friend. Stop mistaking me for your husband. No, you are my husband and I'm your wife. I, I'm not your husband. My name is Kester. Your husband's name is Jeff. Your husband is taller, is fairer. Don't call me your husband, please. Jeff, if it is a joke, you better stop it. Stop it right now. How can you say you're not my husband? I'm your wife. We've been living together for the past few years and we've my never is you. It's not Jeff. I came here into your house some days ago, so please.
this woman. invited me to your office today. I know that my wife is your friend. And sometimes when women have challenges, I have come to notice that for some reason they prefer to confide in their friends as opposed to talking to their husband. I don't know. Did my wife tell you anything? She, 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 she comes across as, as troubled to me, um, wondering if at some point she told you anything at all. No. Why did you ask? Well, nothing um, out of control yet, but... Um... I don't understand my wife sometimes. Sometimes she, she just goes off. I feel something troubles her. She's not talking to me about it. So I was thinking that she probably spoke to you about it and if you would be kind enough to, to tell me. I'd love to know. No, she didn't discuss anything with me. But if you don't mind, um, I'll try to find out something from her. I'll, I'll be grateful. I'll appreciate it. It's okay. Is that all? Yes, no problem. Thank you so much. Okay. Jeff. Hey, Key. Uh, walking beats as always, right? Well, <laughs> what can I do? I'm just starting this proposal. I can imagine, bro. You know, when you're dealing with these people, you try not to um, shoot yourself in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> Business is tricky. You can say that again. No, I'm you, I'm Talking that. about shooting ones in one's foot. Yeah. I think I'm doing just that, and it's not bugger funny anymore. What happened? What are you talking about? Um, I mean, I've been here for quite some time now, and I don't want to take your kindness for granted. And of course, I don't want the little respect you have for me to just, you know, go off the window. Come out with it. What are you on about? I know you. When you begin to beat about the bush this way, it simply means that you have something up your sleeves. What are you on about? What I'm trying to say is that um, I think it's high time I left this place for, you know, what? Do you think that you're inconveniencing me in any way? Well, I... I let, let me ask you this. When I traveled to stay with you in London for four months, 
Where did I stay? Jeff, that's it's four still, months. In your house. Jeff, it's the difference. In what your is home. different? Okay, we're not having this conversation. You're not going anywhere. You're not leaving my house under duress or compulsion. You have to stay here until you're well settled. Find yourself a good job, find yourself a good place. Then you can leave at your own time. I'm not complaining. My wife is not complaining. You know, we like your presence here. What? <laughs> not nothing. Not, I'm... Okay, cool. Okay, then. Uh, I beg. All right. I have work. Yeah, yeah. let me leave to work. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> so I'll see you in the morning, bro. Sure, why not? All right, cheers. All right. night. I am your daughter. Oh, are talking about it, Jen? This is how much you love us. You, you just want to walk away and abandon us. How heartless can you be? Enough, Gina. Enough of your madness. Okay, enough of this. I am not your husband, okay? And I'm not involved with you in any way. And look, if that's all it takes for you to gain back your mental balance in this house, yes, I will leave. God, you're choking me. Look, if you don't stop this, trust me, I will tell your husband everything. Thank you. I So why are you not sleeping? You're not sleeping either. 
I'm different. So am I. Jeff, can I ask you a question? Come on. What is going on with you, Chida? What is troubling you? You're getting more strange by the day. I don't want to think out of context, but I am. I am worried, my love. I am worried. <laughs> Hello, bro. Look at you. You're looking bad. You look, you're looking bad yourself. Look at you all puffed up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's the weather. It's the weather. Nice. You, you look better. You you're family man. What does it look like? Well, nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm still worried. You know. Um. So any result as regards to what we talked about the last time? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's only one thing. That's if you're sure you have not met her before. No, no, I haven't met her before. Are you sure she doesn't have any case of insanity? Well, I... I wouldn't know about that. And then we are looking at the case of obsessive compulsive disorder. And uh, it's, it's not a big deal, not a big case. Some people have gone out of it and all that. And I think has is overboarded and uh, we need to treat her urgently. We need to look at her case urgently. So, what do you advise me? What do you advise her to do? I bring her for treatment. Oh, come on, she's not my wife. She's my friend's wife. I, I can't do that. I have no right to do that. Wow. Then you have to tell your friend that the wife is not stable. Oh, come on, Henry. It's not as easy as it seems, man. I don't want him to look at me some kind of way with his wife. To be honest with you, there's no remedy anyway. Sad that. Okay, look. Look. Um, what is the danger of not treating her? The danger is she'll go mad. The only remedy for it is for you to bring her for treatment urgently. Babe, since I came here, you have not said a word to me. Are you okay? I'm fine. No, you're not. Because you don't look it. See, I'm your friend, okay? Share your problems with me. What will you do about it? Will you change his mind about me? At first, when I saw him walk through that door, <laughs> I thought my luck was about to change. No. He has denied everything we ever had together. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? He's even treating me like a stranger. Am I supposed to be happy? Am I? Uh, believe me, I'm, I'm confused. I don't even know what you're saying. I don't understand. He denied being my husband. Since he came, do you know he has denied me of sex? Who does that to his wife? Who? Why, why would Jeff be doing such a thing to you? <laughs> he says his name is Kesta. Do I even care what he calls himself? All I want is my husband, my love, my life, everything. understand what you're passing through. In fact, believe me, I know what you're passing through right now. And um, I would advise that you keep on believing on hope, okay? Trust me, 
Your husband would definitely come around. Do you think so? Of course, I don't think so. I know so. He will. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Jeff. Jeff. Treating me like this, stop this room, stop it. Is my wife here? No, is she not upstairs in your room? Oh no, she's not. You know, not to worry, I'll just... Um, take a picture. Okay, cool. Right. I take that, but you need to go back to your husband. Look, I promise you, I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. I wouldn't do that. I want to see you. Yeah, you need to do this, okay?
Jenna, where have you been? None of your business. None of my business. Why would you ask him to do that while I'm here? Um, I'm sure she doesn't want you to get to work late. That's why she's asking me to do it, right? But, but hey, I would love to do it for a change. Take her to school. What do you think, Jeff? What I think, what I think is that it's going to be fun. Real fun. I'd love to do it right now. Should I? Let me take her to school. Wait. Okay. Let me go with her. Bye. Bye. Uh, bye. So we're going to have fun, too. Look, my friend is a guest in this house. Not our errand boy. Guests, I don't get it. It is not in your place to ask him to do our work. It's our responsibility to take our daughter to school, not his. Let this not happen again. Never. I don't understand. If there is a guest in this house, it's you. He's calling my husband a guest in his own house. What arrogance. I understand, Jeff. When a man realizes that the woman he's been married with or in love has been cheating on him, with his friend is enough to be in this state of mind. What are you talking about? I thought that was the reason you were moody. You're not aware? Can you speak in plain English? I spoke with your wife. And she told me she's been having an affair with your friend, Kesta. And Muna is not your daughter. You know, I know your type. I know your kind. I know women like you. The kind who would stop at nothing to get a man they want. You have always wanted me, and you think that coming up with this cock and bull chip story would make me leave my wife and family? and come to you? Where did you get this nonsense from? My daughter is seven years old and my friend has lived abroad for more than 10 years. So do you want to tell me how that immaculate conception happened? She told me herself. Look, I still have some respect for you and advice that you do the right thing and leave this place right now before I forget that you're China's friend. Leave my presence. Jeff, I'm not lying. Do you know why I keep to myself? Do you know why I handle my business myself? Because of people like you. I face my problems head on. Deal with my challenges myself. I do not involve second or third parties because of people like you. You know, I look at you and I, and I think that you're my wife's friend and and you should at least be concerned. But then again, you have proven me wrong. Do the right thing right now and leave my presence.
Why are you wearing these clothes? Your father will not like it. Please change. But mom, dad bought this way for me. That man bought you these clothes, not my Kester. He does not even like this color. But mom, Uncle Kester is not my daddy. So why are you calling him my daddy? Is something wrong with you? Don't complicate issues for me, oh. Don't. I want you to change these clothes right now. So what do you care for? The usual. You know the usual? Yes, sir. Thank you. What's the usual word? Use it. <laughs> <laughs> nice place, man. Yeah. Kasa, what do you think of my wife? What do I do? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. I mean, you've been with us long enough. And um, I think that you should have an opinion. Shouldn't you? Oh, oh, yeah. Of course, yes. Um, your wife, she's she's awesome. She's a she's a nice woman, domesticated. If you ask me, um, she has the energy to draw love around her by people around her. Anyways, um, she loves you. That is for sure, and loves your daughter too. And if you ask me, uh, I think that uh, that's an ideal woman. So she's your kind of woman. She's the kind of woman that you would spend the rest of your life with. What is he up to? Why these kind of questions? Well, like, well, like I said, uh, she's a nice woman, um, but nah, she's not my type. You know, I, I don't like housewives. You know, I like women that are vibrant and um, up and going, and also naughty. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love my wife and I to do some naughty stuff in the house and not be scared that the kids would just bump into us. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, I, I understand that. So you're saying that she's not your kind of woman. That, you, know, you could never end up with a woman like Gina. I know where you're going with this, my friend. But know that I will never touch your wife. It's against everything I believe in. Hey, hey you're not saying anything. Well, she's your kind of woman, or not? Well, uh, I mean, I don't want to offend you, my friend, but no. She's not my type, man. Oh, she's not my type. She's too, uh, uh, what's the word now? What's the, she's too homely, for my sake. No, mm. no, she can do with that. I see. Sorry, my friend, that I had to ask you this kind of question. I knew Stella was lying to me, but I just wanted to make sure that I that I'm not the fool. I understand you, my friend. It's okay to ask. Right. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm. Oh, yes, my love. Can I ask you a question? I oh, should, sure. of course, you he can ask me. Is Uncle Kester my father? Where did you get that from? My mother told me. You know your mom, she's a, she's a joker. I think so too, but she sounded serious. Hmm. The little princess. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, I was sleeping when you got back from school. I didn't really see you. How was school today? It was fine. All right. Well, you made some friends today? Yes. Hey, good, good. You should make more friends, you know. Right? Yes. Good to see you. Uncle, hmm? can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Are you really my father? <laughs> Where did you get that from? My mother told me. My mother told you this? Yes. <laughs> Look, uh, the mom was just kidding, right? I'm sure she was just pulling your leg. It was some sort of a joke, nothing serious to it. But she sounded serious.
So you know what? Um, give me a moment. I'll be right back. Ahead of yours, and quite frankly, I am tired of trying to make you see reasons with me. It is the very last time, I mean, the very last time you call me your husband or the father of your daughter. The next time you do this, I'm going to tell your husband everything. And that'll be the very last time you see me open your house. I'm tired of this. Go on. What have I done wrong? No, eh? why is he mad at me? You! Are you happy? Are you happy now? You have decided to be a problem in my life. This is the last time. This is the last time I will allow you interfere in my family issue. Shut up! Shut up! Because of you. Because of you, Kesta is mad at me. He said rubbish to me. All just because of you. Oh, it's your house. You can have it. You can throw it. But I will not allow you to destroy my joy, my happiness, my home, my love. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I just want to be with you. See, I don't care what Jeff says or does. So Stella was right after all. My friend and my wife. How cheap can they be? How cheap? Oh, Gina, you have done this. You have done it this time. You have done it. I am not your husband, and I will never be. My name is Kester, and I will never be in love with someone like you. Look at you. You're sick. You, you need to be in a mental home right now. But in the meantime, don't drag me into your madness. Okay? What are you talking about? What I'm saying is that I will leave this house, not to be lured into your temptation. Okay? Hey.
I would never have believed you would do this to me, Jenna. When you're crying over another man in our matrimonial bed, do you have any shame left in you? You'll pay for this. Oh, you will pay for this deceit. Jenna, I promise you. You'll pay. getting out of hand. I will not be able to put up with this. I am losing my mind too. I think it's time to leave his house. I do not care what Jeff have to say about this, but I have to do this. As long as I'm here, Gina will continue to get worse. Leaving is the best thing to do. Find you here. Monday night as usual, huh? Oh yeah. You can you can join. Oh no, no, I, I wish I could. Uh, I'd have to go to bed now. I have an early start tomorrow, actually. I came to tell you that um, I got an urgent call today from a far relative of mine saying that my uncle was involved in a motor accident. You know, so um, I'll leave for Lukuja tomorrow morning very early. Hard luck. Yeah, I know, right? Have you booked a flight yet? Um, flights uh, are all fully booked, so I am left with the option of <laughs> going by road. It's okay, you can take one of my cars. Wow, um, I mean, I could <laughs> hit the bus or just get a cab to work with you in the morning. If it's going to be a, you know, a problem for you. How many days are you gone for? Um, five days, max seven. You can take the hand across the top, it's fine. Thank you so much. Huh? Appreciate it. Well, so I leave tomorrow morning very early. I'm sure by the time you wake up, I probably might have been gone by then. I was safe, Jim. All right, then. Thank you so much, bro. Sorry to lie to you, my friend. But it's necessary. All right. Good night. since I came into your house but I know you and you keep a lot to yourself that is why I never bothered to ask you any questions but I as a friend also owe you this much your wife is mentally unstable and needs attention quickly she has something a doctor friend of mine called obsessive compulsive disorder she sees me as a husband and not you and mama as my daughter This started from the first day I stepped into the house. My presence in your house was causing more harm than good. That is why I decided to leave. I will send your car to you. Please do something about your wife before it gets out of hand. I love you, my brother. I know you'll do the right thing.
I have tried all my best to make you understand that I'm not the one you think me to be. But I know it's not your fault. Please seek help. You need it. Get yourself checked. Your family leave and happiness depends on you. Jeff loves you. Do not throw that away because of this illness. Goodbye. How? I, 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 don't, I, I don't get you. We don't have the time for all of this right now, please. Can you just listen to me and stop the car, please? Who told you the price of being tempered with? No one told me because I did! Stop. You wanted to kill me? Guess that! Sorry, I, I, I acted out of impulse. I was suspected that you were sleeping with my wife. I just found out the truth. I'm, I'm holding your letter right in my house right now, my friend. Please, you have to forgive me when I you to stop the dark car right now. You can't even respond. I'm going to stop this car. What is happening? What is happening? What are you asking? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Hello? Just stop. talking about? Tell me, what is more than what you have done? I killed him. He's gone. <laughs> the father of my daughter!
So we thought I'd have told you. Am I under arrest or not? Hmm. Quite revealing. Quite revealing story. What was the model of the car you're talking about? Honda Crystal. Um, Mr. Jeff, based on what I've heard from you, your statement, you have to be with us for a while, not to just get some certain things straight. So we know either put you the arrest or not. You understand? Thank you. Just... You're... I'm sorry. Just... I'm sorry. Please. It's okay, gentlemen. No, they come to your seat, sir. It's okay, come to your seat. Come on, take your seat, please. Ooh, 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 ooh. Please, sir, please. It's okay, please. Okay. 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 Here we are. I was told by my doctor that my case is a case of mental disorder. <laughs> Where on earth did this ailment originate from? Where? Anyway. Right now, I am placed on treatment and counseling. I hope to get better soon. <laughs> 